getting enough vegetables? Well, uh, Dr. Cousins, who's one of the experts on diabetes, in fact, he can get most people uh, completely cured of diabetes by simply putting them on a raw food diet, a vegetarian raw food diet to be precise, mostly vegetables. Most of us do not eat five or six helpings of vegetables a day. Well, one way to get a lot of raw vegetables in is with a green smoothie. So you fill up the blender container with vegetables. Now you want to be careful about your selection of vegetables. Uh, for example, some lettuces are pretty bitter, so they, they're not going to work good. I usually use spinach or a spinach mix, and I fill that blender all the way to the top with this. And then I'll put in some blueberries. Uh, they're low glycemic, and, and they sort of hide the flavor of the vegetables. I also add kale. I have kale growing outside in a grow box, and I put several leaves of kale in it every day as well. And then some ice on top, maybe some flaxseed uh, to get some fatty acids. And you can add some other things if you want to. I just, I buy these boxes, uh, you get them at the grocery store, they're big plastic and they're full of uh, organically grown spinach or spinach mixes. And that's really easy. Uh, the important thing for me is easy. So I, I take that big box, I put most of the other ingredients inside there, and then the, the box of blueberries right on top. So everything's right there. I'll add some protein to it, add some ice to it, and I add some silk almond milk. I like the silk brand, it tastes a little bit better, although the other brands, you can use those as well. The taste doesn't really play much of a factor when you're making a smoothie, but and they're a little cheaper. So you put that all in the blender, and you fill up, oh, maybe the bottom quarter with the fluid that you're using. It could be water, it can be almond milk, or whatever, you, coconut milk, whatever you want to do. Just don't use dairy. And then you just turn that blender on low and bring it up to speed, and then high speed. The blender you want to use is either a vitamin or a blend tech are the two that uh, do the job. I, my Vitamix is uh, at least 25 years old. I've only replaced little spindle that has the gears in it once because they just wore out. When I purchased it, it was about $400 25 years ago, and the new ones have more features, and they just don't wear out. Mine's 25 years old, works as good as the day I bought it. So that's the one I recommend, and as your main health tool actually is a good Vitamix blender. So try the uh, green smoothies. You'll get a huge amount of vegetables and the blueberries pretty much cover up the taste of anything else. Uh, sometimes if I've got a vegetable that's got a little strong flavor in there, I'll add a little, maybe a third of a frozen banana. I know bananas are high glycemic and all that, but they are really good at making things smooth and covering the flavor that you won't want. The whole idea with a, a green smoothie is to eat the green stuff without having to taste the green stuff, you know. So the, the blueberries and a little bit of banana do that quite nicely. So give it a try. You can, If you've got diabetes, you'll find that you can drop your blood sugar and you'll probably drop your weight a bit when you switch to green smoothies in the morning.